Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm continuing the Modern Dreams Mansion and I'm starting off here with the basement again. So this is where we left off and I decided to add in a home theater here for my sims because as you guys know I'm doing this Hollywood, not really Hollywood, just a movie star team. So the movie star that is living here is going to be my female sim. So the how do you say it? The mommy of the home. And she is a very large movie star. And in my mind, she's kinda like um how do you say that? Uh, how, what is her name? She does like Tom, Tom Brader and Angelina, Angelina Jolie. That's the girl that I was thinking of. So yeah, my sim kind of looks like her. So I had her in my mind when I was building this. So yeah, she is a Angelina Jolie kind of character and she's very rich and famous um, and just a strong leading lady in the film industry um, so of, of course not absurd what was wrong <laughs> of course we needed a home theater so that her children can watch her movies or maybe watch dad his movies because daddy is also a actor and a movie producer and also music video producer so he has like multiple things going on and they are just very big in the entertainment industry so they definitely needed a indoor cinema and um, so i'm going with very dark colors contrasted with of course white kitchen counters for the bar area and i'm all also, whoop, I'm so sorry, that was so weird. <laughs> Anyways, I'm also going for white uh, sofas uh, because I think it looks a little bit more luxurious than only single seating sofas. So I thought let's do three uh, double white so that you can sit there maybe, maybe with your husband, you know, they can cuddle and watch a movie. Uh, so it is um, not a full on kitchen that I'm building here. It really is a bar. I did add in a coffee machine, a popcorn machine, and then that little fountain, I think from Spa Day for snacks if I have that correct, um, so that your sims can still eat a little bit when they're downstairs. And of course, I think you can also grab chips from the bar and stuff like that. And you can hire a barista to uh, do that as well. And um, so adding in some posters and in my imagination, um, this, these are posters from movies that she played in or that her husband has directed or played in himself. Um, so yeah, I thought it was really nice. And that, that large middle poster from the a man and woman kissing. Uh, I was thinking that that could represent. Re oh my god, that could be them. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is what where my mind was when adding in the posters. Also adding in some lights on the wall. I like that it's really dark in the cinema. So usually I add in a little bit more light, but this time I was like, no, let's go for a very dark cinema and only illuminate the wall. So that is what I was doing there and here just furnishing the hallway a little bit, making it look nice. Uh, so this is like a transition hall before you go into the very dark theater. Um, and also so that the sims who are watching a movie aren't bothered by the noises on the hallway. Um, so here adding in another room. So for this room, by the way, I'm not furnishing that yet. Um, I'm gonna do that all off camera uh, because I want to make that a surprise for you guys but i still want you guys to have like a little say in what i'm gonna build so there is a poll here up in the screen so that you guys can pick um something that you really want me to build so i have i'm gonna add in uh either a spa with indoor cinema uh not indoor cinema indoor swimming pool mona <laughs> anyway so a spa with indoor swimming pool or a arcade uh for the teens or a play area for the children or other and then you can leave your comment in the suggestions um, or in the comment section below the video if you have a, another suggestion for me that's not in the poll. So click on the poll if you want a say what that room is going to be. So I'm definitely also going to add in a bathroom, by the way, off camera. So you don't need to suggest that. Yes, there is going to be a bathroom uh, downstairs as well. Um, so I started off here with the first bedroom of the home. And I'm doing the teen girls bedroom first. I just like the shape. The shape of this bedroom is really 
different and I liked it and there was enough space for a walk-in with a vanity and also a little extra room so this is going to be the teen girl ballerina bedroom because this was requested on part number one of the series uh, someone uh, asked me really kindly if I would love to make another ballerina room because I did one previously i don't know what that uh, the name is from that build but i will link it here in the up right corner of your screen Clo go click not clo go click on that and you will find the video where i also made a ballerina teen girls bedroom uh, so that bedroom by the way was in mint green and blue colors also a suggestion by one of you guys so now i'm going with a little bit of a different colors that fits in with the whole theme of the home so i'm going with grays and whites and i'm adding in some purples and pink uh, because she is a little bit of a purple and pink girl um so i have to say all of the gr uh not girls all of the children in this house are very um how do you say that they are very ambitious so they all want to be famous at some point of their life and they all want to be famous in a different way so she this teen girl wants to be a either a famous dancer or a ballerina but she also wants to sing she wants to act and she wants to play the violin so there's a violin there is a microphone so she's maybe something for a broadway maybe she's aiming for a theater or something like that um so that is what i was thinking when making her room and i think it looks absolutely stunning so this is not my favorite room by the way usually I always pick a favorite room this is not one of them but it was definitely a runner-up uh, but actually the second teen girls bedroom is my favorite one and then we will get into that a little bit later but if you are following me on snapchat you guys might already seen a little preview of that room I just adore it so if you are not following me on snapchat by the way and you like to see little previews and my life because I will also snapchat my children myself my work my home go follow me there um, if you are interested and if you are not interested in that but still want a sneak peek now and again you can follow me on Instagram I keep my Instagram really um, only sim related with sometimes a personal pick really like once in a few months so yeah you can follow me there as well if you want to keep it not personal <laughs> anyways here adding in a little seating area so she can lie there and sunbathe when the sun hits that side of the house and then starting with the uh, ensuite bathroom so all of the bedrooms have their own bathroom which i think is really nice and that is definitely something that i would expect in a celebrity home i mean this is like a really multi-millionaire home so yeah they needed all their own personalized bathrooms so of course i'm going here with a little bit of purple a little bit of pink and making it look really nice and girly for our teen girl of this bedroom <laughs> and so yeah that is what i'm doing here and um, also for the custom content i will be linking everything um on my blog there is a link to my blog in the description of the video and that it's not finished by the way i'm st i'm still working on the blog so i will be adding in more items as i am going to uh, finish the home so if you want the full on list with everything wait until you guys see the house tour that is the the um video that is uh next in line for this series so i'm gonna work on the house tour uh, and of course furnishing everything that i'm not furnishing in this part of camera and then the house tour is going to be the next video um so for the house tour by the way um i am probably gonna upload that somewhere next week i don't have the time this weekend to really fully finish that it's going to be gorgeous weather here in belgium and i think everywhere here so uh i think germany um, holland and france uh you guys are gonna get great weather like i am um so yeah i'm gonna go outside tomorrow with my family and we are gonna go to the efteling so if you are following my channel for quite some time you guys know i love amusement parks i have, am a very loyal uh, loyal customer of the efteling um, um, and we always go there when the weather is beautiful and this is going 
to be, I think, my first visit this year. Have I been this year? I'm not sure. I think this is going to be my first visit. So I'm so excited because I've missed it so much. I love amusement parks. Uh, and yeah, so I'm just not going to be home tomorrow. I still have to work tomorrow morning, though. I have to work till 11 o'clock, so it's not that bad. Uh, because there's carnival here in the city, so we won't be open till late. So 11 uh, a.m. That's the final hour that I'm gonna work and then straight up to uh, the Efteling Which is like an hour and a half drive away from my home, but that's fine It's all worth it because I love it there. I will try and snapchat some things there It's all depends on my internet connection in the park, but yeah, keep your phones, uh, keep keep an eye out for that on my Snapchat, of course. Um, so as you guys saw, I did the twin toddler bedroom and I talked over it. Um, so I went with a princessy theme. So the beds that you saw are custom content, by the way, but it's like a uh, base game conversion. So the, they are Maxis matched. I will link them on my blog as well. And I just went with a princessy theme because I didn't know... Uh, they didn't I didn't develop their characters yet because they're so small and tiny and they can be whatever they want to be uh, yet uh, so I just went with princesses because that is like the normal thing to do with baby girls <laughs> um, so here I started with the teen boys bedroom there's only one teen boys bedroom and that is this one and he wants to be a rock star when he grows up or well he's already in the process because he's playing the electro guitar the grim reaper electrical guitar and also playing the um keyboard he has his funky lights for when he's practicing he can really get into the mood that he's a rock star <laughs> you know what i mean and of course it's a plus point because his dad is also a music producer so he probably is going to go with his dad's label and he's gonna bring out music like that um so he's an aspiring uh, rock star and that's why I'm also going with the dark color edgy posters and I'm gonna add some graffiti on that wall as well um, just to resemble his character and I also gave him the balcony with bubble blower I mean he's a little bit naughty but his father is also a little bit naughty <laughs> he has the evil trait so yeah it's fine um, but he loves to just chill and relax and use his bubble blower there on the balcony when his friends come over you know how that goes with boys um so yeah that's definitely it so i did forget to add in a toilet by the way in the bathroom um i will add that later so yeah you won't see the toilet now but you will see me doing it later when i'm doing the other teen girls bedroom so going with a dark color scheme for the bathroom like i said i am really trying to um put their personality in the bathrooms as well so that the interior designer really looked at the children their personalities while she was uh, designing the rooms because of course they had a interior designer i mean doesn't every celebrity have one? <laughs> i would have had no no probably not i would have done all everything myself i'm really picky and I always like to do everything myself because I don't know that's just me I always am um, if, if someone says to me oh my gosh this is nice you should do it like that and I'm like no I want it that way just to be the opposite you know what I mean so I would have probably done it myself um anyways here we are starting with the second teen girls bedroom and this is my absolute favorite bedroom i love the color scheme so and i also love the fairy theme of this bedroom so this girl pardon the dog that you are hearing right now but this girl she wants to be a twitch streamer and she wants to be famous on the internet so she really wants to be internet famous and she is starting on up her own twitch channel she's already doing like videos she has her own green screen and of course she's playing the sims you guys <laughs> i added in some sims posters she does do other um videos as well like bill block and stuff like that but uh sims forever that's her main thing so yeah she wants to be a twitch streamer when she grows up and i thought that was so really nice and fun and i actually gotten the idea for this room because i was thinking on starting my own twitch channel i mean i have like the account and everything ready i just need to actually post something on my channel but i haven't done that yet but now with all the 
things going on on YouTube. I am thinking about it more. I think I can maybe do all my real-time house builds on Twitch. I mean, now I'm doing them like normal builds and then I edited them and I upload them to YouTube. But I was thinking maybe I should do them on Twitch um, live and then you guys can comment directly what you like, what you don't like, so that I have your input because I really like building with you guys. Now I build a little part and then I ask your, you guys your feedback and then of course you give feedback and then I get back to you and then I need to add that in. And I think the process is so long and that's why this series, my real time series is so long. We're on episode eight, I think. And I think we need, still need to do like two episodes. So in the end, it would be like 10 episodes and then a house tour. So I just was thinking, I should probably do that on Twitch and then only house tours of what I did on Twitch, maybe on YouTube. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I'm just thinking about it. But let me know in the comment section below the video what you guys think of me starting maybe a Twitch stream uh, with only the real time builds and maybe sometimes a let's play or just playing <laughs> just playing something in general. Let me know what you guys think of that. If you even use Twitch and your overall thoughts would absolutely mean the world to me if you guys would comment and just yeah just give me your opinions because i'm so very undecisive at this moment um so yeah this is almost finished and as you guys can see it's just such a lovely lovely color scheme with the i don't know is it like a pink a salmon color i'm not sure but i'm absolutely adoring it with the combination of the yellow i think it looks so very sweet and soft uh, so yeah, I really liked that. So this is the final kids bedroom of this house and I'm going with a kids boys bedroom. Uh, so a single bed. I was at first thinking maybe twin boys, but we didn't need an extra bed. So we're going with one boy. He has his own entirely big bedroom and he has like multiple interests. So I was thinking again about my uh, oldest daughter Selena. I mean she really is into gaming but she also likes arts and crafts and she likes uh, Pokemon. She likes multiple things and that is what I also thought for this room. I mean little boys and girls when they are like around between the, the age of 6 and I don't know 12, 11, they really accu uh, uh, how do you say not accumulate? <laughs> I'm not sure. What to, anyways, they really are into multiple things. So they can be into sports like this sim. He's into playing games. He's into the computer, and he's also into collecting stuff. He likes multiple things, and he's just really trying to discover the world and seeing what his absolute favorite thing is. So he's just discovering and experimenting, and so that's why he likes a lot of things and that's why there are so many items in this room so i'm gonna add in a lot of collectibles on this wall because he collects snowballs he collects skulls <laughs> i don't know and easter eggs because it is almost easter here in belgium i think one week to go and then we are celebrating easter if I have that right, I think it is. I think we need one week and then it's Easter. So of course we needed some Easter eggs. Um, so yeah, that's basically the room. And of course I made him a little bit of a uh, basketball player because we have that very large basketball court in the garden and we needed one sim to be obsessed about it. So I made it this boy here and also some frogs and random stuff for this bedroom. So yeah, this is a multifunctional bedroom. Uh, this sim likes all the things. <laughs> okay, so yeah, here doing the um, ensuite bathroom. And for the ensuite bathroom, I toned it down a little bit. Still going with that blue color scheme, but not so elaborately um, furnished as the bedroom because I think that the kids bedroom that I did now is like the fullest with just so many stuff I thought let's tone down the bathroom just for some contrast or something um, so here furnishing the hallway this can all change by the way the hallway I'm not sure about that I just thought let's add in something there just for something to be there it looked so very empty probably gonna make it look a little bit better off camera but of course you guys will see that in the house tour um so what am i doing here i am doing the balcony uh, because i forgot about that when i was doing the teen boys bedroom so i went back and in some seating areas 
I didn't want to go overboard there because you can see that balcony from the exterior. So I didn't want to make it all gutty and rock starry because I wanted a very nice clean view when you are in the garden. Um, so here I am starting with the master bedroom. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, there's like something in my throat. <laughs> Anyways, here I'm starting with the master bathroom and I added in a sauna because I just love having a sauna in the master bedroom and because these are like celebrity sims, they needed that little something extra in the master bedroom area. So I went with the sauna. They have their personal sauna for their sauna woohoo, of course. <laughs> and going with a dark black, white and gray theme because I think that just looks really nice. Um, I did forget about the toilet in this bedroom or in this bathroom. So I will be adding that in off camera for you guys. I just wasn't thinking about that. But we have so much space at the front. So don't worry, there is definitely going to be a bathroom uh, for your sim in this bathroom um so here adding in what am i doing dressers of course so that little area is going to be the walk-in closet for our movie star sim um so for the female sim she's gonna use that of course to pick out her outfits for the grammys or golden globes or i don't know how those things are called i think those are grammys white or uh, not white right <laughs> where uh celebrity sims go to like red carpet events anyway she's she can get ready there it's going to have lots of large mirrors and uh yeah of course the walk-in wardrobe um so yeah she can definitely do that here and of course i want it to have um, a private seating area so she can sit there, watch television with her husband, relax and unwind from a very busy day maybe when the children are sleeping or doing their own thing around the home. They have just a little seating area to really just be together. I thought that was really important uh, for them to have so that's why I added in that television with seating area so yeah here making that very large mirror for my sim and also of course we needed lights i mean she's a celebrity we needed that celebrity light thingy that i always do in my celebrity homes um i started with that i think in my kylie jenner home i think i started in that home with placing all those lights um in her walk-in closet i think or did i do it in no i think i placed it in her um, glam room she had like lots of mirrors in her glam room and i thought let's do that as well i will link kylie jenner's house build here in the screen if you are interested if you haven't seen it i mean i think like everyone has seen that already on my channel but if you didn't see it i will link part one for you to enjoy uh, because that's a really really fun build uh it took me forever to finish but that is definitely one of the uh, celebrity homes that I like the most. I mean, it's not my number one. My number one celebrity home that I ever did was Jennifer Lawrence. I love that home. But that footage that I did wasn't that great. Uh, it was all stretched out like the first four episodes. Because my screen was doing something weird that I didn't notice. But I love the end result. I love how that house looked in the end. I have never done a house tour. I think I didn't do a house tour of that home. should probably do one for you guys. I should, yeah. I should write that down because I'm gonna forget that. Anyways, here doing the sleeping area um, and it's such a large area. So I decided to add in another sitting area here because why not? I mean, we had so much space. So I thought let's add that in as well. So we're almost done with the video. So all the balconies I'm gonna furnish off camera. So that is something that you are going to have to look forward to as well for the house tour and of course I will be sneak peeking that on my snapchat as well just don't forget to follow me there if you are interested so I hope that you guys enjoyed my little voice over the video I hope you guys did if you did don't forget to place your likes on the video it's very important to grow the channel to just 
get people to watch my content i would be really really appreciated if you guys would do that for me and of course if this is the first video that you are seeing from me uh don't forget to subscribe if you liked it and of course hit the notification bell so that you would never miss a video of mine so we are now at the end of the video just adding in some extra posters that uh, resembled her so i hope that you guys have a great great weekend wherever you are and hopefully i will see you guys in the next one bye bye Thank <laughs> you.